Hello and welcome to the episode. Today I'm performing the first service on my 2023 Royal Enfield Scram 411. In this video I will be checking the tappets, changing the engine oil and resetting the service light. Here we can see my Scram has covered 294 miles and the service light is now on. First thing I'm going to do is check the valve tappet gaps. This must be done on a cold engine, so make sure your bike has been sitting for more than 4 hours. Right, let's get started. Remove the seat. Remove these two tank bolts with a 10mm socket. Remove the fuel line. Squeeze both edges. Only a small amount of fuel will spill. Next, remove the fuel pump plug. Pull down the rubber covering to gain access to the plug. Now squeeze the tab, push up and pull on the plug. Go around the other side and remove the fuel gauge plug. It's the same clip like the fuel pump. Lift the tank and pull back slightly. Raise the front and put your left arm under the center and remove the two rubber hoses. You'll need to squeeze the spring clip on the right hose. Clean any dirt away from the engine. Remove the spark plug. Place a piece of cardboard over the hole. Remove the crank cover. Remove the timing inspection plug. Turn the crank anti-clockwise. This is very important because you could damage the sipper clutch if you rotate it clockwise. Some older manuals will say clockwise, but this has been since revised. Look into the inspection hole. You'll see a line followed by a T. Match both lines up, one on the engine and one on the crank. Remove rear valve cover. Note this says INT for inlet. Make sure the o-ring goes back into the cover. Remove front valve cover. This says EXT for exhaust. The rocker arms should have some small free play. As shown, check the valve gap settings, grab the feeler gauge and check the gaps. All items and tools I use will be listed below in the description. This exhaust valve was too tight. Using a 10mm spanner, loosen the nut and turn the centre thread as required. I used a 4mm socket to turn the thread, but you can use your fingers. Once you have the right gap, the gauge should drag out with only slight resistance.
lock the nut to 12 newton meters. Now do the same for the inlet. The measurements are different here, so please check them before adjusting. Once happy, turn the engine anti-clockwise a two full turns and line the crank back to TDC. Recheck valve gaps and if you are happy reinstall the pass as shown and you are good to go. I used red rubber grease on the o-rings. You don't have to but it will help preserve the rubber and assist with sealing. These breather hoses can be tricky. Slide the metal clip 3cm down the pipe and then squeeze the clip and slide it up as you push it onto the tank. Right, that's the valves done. Now time for the oil and filter change. Start the engine and leave it to idle for 10 minutes. Turn off the engine and remove the oil filler cap. On the left side, remove the oil strainer cap. Loosen the two screws and allow to drain before fully removing. Be careful, this will be hot. Here you can see it has caught some debris so it's done its job. Now go to the right side of the engine and remove the oil filter cap. The lower bolt is a longer one. These have Loctite on and will be very tight, so be careful. When reinstalling them, do not use Loctite. These will be tight enough. Only do this if you feel strong enough, but you can tilt the bike left to right. Oil will spill everywhere, so be warned. Now 
install the oil filter. Clean the area. Clean the strainer and reinstall as shown. It's tapered and will only fit one way. Clean the area. Grab your oil and put 1.5 litres of oil in it first. Install the filler cap and start the engine. Check for any leaks. Turn the engine off and leave for one minute. Add the rest of the oil until the inspection glass shows a maximum. Give everything a good clean. Here is everything you'll need, and obviously an oil drain bowl. And make sure you take your old oil to a garage or waste sensor. To reset the service light, turn on the ignition. Press the I button so the display is on trip B. Hold the I button down and after 10 seconds, turn off the key. While still holding the button, keep it held for a further 30 seconds, then turn the key on. The spanner will now disappear. Thank you so much for watching. Please give a thumbs up as these videos take a very long time. I've also made similar videos on the Meteor 350 and the Interceptor 650, as well as the Honda NC750X, so check them out. Please subscribe for more, I also film vlogs as I ride with my wife. So the channel is very varied and is definitely worth adding us to your sub list. So until then, I've been Nick and I'll catch you on the next episode. Ride safe.